Hello everybody, my name is Mrs Evans and in this lesson we're going to be practicing counting in twos. This is probably something you've done quite a lot of with your teacher at school, so I'm expecting you to be really good at this. We're going to start our lesson using Numicon pieces to count in twos and I've got some of the pieces here. Can you see? So I've got two and you can see the two in that really easily, one, two. And in my four piece, one, two, one, two. That's another twos number we'll use. And in six, one, two, one, two, one, two. So those are all twos numbers, or we call them multiples of two. Let's look at this number five. One, two, one, two, one. So we're not going to use five, are we, in our count in twos? Can you remember what sort of number it is? It's an odd number. Well done. So we're not going to be saying odd numbers. We're just saying even numbers. Well done if you remembered that. So let's count in multiples of two all the way from zero and we'll stop at 20. Are you ready? So zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, did I hear you say 14 really clearly? It's easy to get that one confused with 40, isn't it? It's 14. Let's carry on from 14, 16, 18, 20. And I'm sure you said 20 really clearly and not 20. Well done. Now we're going to count backwards from 20 all the way back to zero. It's a little bit trickier going backwards, so should we do it a little bit more slowly? Are you ready? So we start with 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Well done, I think that's quite hard. Now I've put all my Numicon 2's pieces next to the multiples of 2 on the number line. Can you see what sort of numbers are between the multiples of 2? They're the odd numbers, aren't they? So we're going to practice now saying all of the numbers from 0 to 20, but we're going to whisper the odd numbers and say out loud the even numbers, those multiples of 2. So are you ready? So I'll say 0. So are you going to have to whisper or say out loud one? That's it, you're going to whisper the odd numbers. Are we ready? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Did you manage? It's a little bit tricky, isn't it? OK, this time we're just going to say the multiples of two. Shall we see if we can do it a little bit quicker? Are you ready? Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. OK, let's see if we can go backwards as well. So starting at twenty. Are you ready? Twenty. 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. By now, you should be really good at counting in twos. I bet you are. Now we're going to use our counting in twos to find out how many objects or things we've got there's lots of things come in twos. Can you think of any? Maybe think about your face. What have you got two of? Two eyes? Two ears? Two nostrils? Lots of things come in twos, don't they? What about a bike? What's a bike got two of? Just pause for a moment and think. Maybe you're thinking, well, a bike's got two pedals. One, two. 
And of course, a bike has got two wheels. One, two. And today we're going to be thinking of a bike as a group of two, a group of two wheels. We're going to be counting how many groups we've got, that will be how many bikes, and how many wheels we've got all together. And that's where your counting in twos is going to come in really useful. So let's start by thinking how many groups of two, how many bikes we've got. Now you might be able to look at this picture and say really quickly from how it's arranged how many there are. But we can check, we can check like this. We're going to count those groups. Are you ready? We're going to say it like this. One group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two, seven groups of two, eight groups of two. So there's eight groups of two. Instead of always using the word groups of, you could say it like this. This is a little bit quicker. One, two, two twos, three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos, seven twos, eight twos. So there's eight twos or eight groups of two. Maybe you knew from the arrangement that there were eight. Well done if you got that right. So now we're going to see how many wheels there are by counting in our multiples of two. So if we've got eight bikes, how many wheels are there all together? You can join in with me. Two, four. So does that mean there's four wheels on that bike? No, there's two wheels and another two wheels makes four wheels. So we're on four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. There are sixteen wheels altogether on eight bikes. Eight twos are sixteen. OK, it's your turn now. I'd like you to go and find some things in your house that you can count in twos. Now you'll need to check with your grown up before you do that. But could you think of something that always comes in twos? It's a special word for things which always come in twos and that's pairs. So see if you can find some pairs of things in your house. So pause the video, check with your grown up and don't forget to come back. Did you find something? I hope so. I found some things that are in my house. Lots and lots of socks. There they are. Lots of work for me to do sorting these into pairs. Some of them are already in pairs. Look, two socks, one pair. Those two need sorting. Maybe you found socks. They come in pairs in groups of two, don't they? Or maybe some shoes. There should be lots of shoes, shouldn't there, in pairs. I wonder what you found. So I'd like you to use your counting to find out how many groups of things you've got, whether it's shoes or socks or whatever you found, and also how many things all together. So instead of saying one group of two, we could just say one two, two twos, three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos, seven twos, eight twos, nine twos, Ten twos. There's ten twos. So now we're going to use our counting in multiples of two to find out how many shoes we've got all together with those ten groups. Are you ready? Count with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, 20. So there's 20 shoes if we've got 10 pairs or 10 groups of two. 10 twos are 20. In this lesson and the next few lessons, we're going to be using some counters to help us practice counting in our multiples. Now, today we're practicing counting in twos, aren't we? So can you see on each counter, on each circle, 
there's two dots. That's because we're counting in twos. So we can see how many counters we've got, either just by looking at the arrangement or by doing our counting of groups. So we'll just check out how many twos, how many groups of two we've got. So we'll just say it like this. One, two, two twos, three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos. We've got six twos, six groups of two. Now let's see how many dots on those six counters. And we're gonna count in our multiples of two. Are you ready, join in with me? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. There's 12 dots on six counters. Six twos are 12. Well done, everybody. That's the end of our first lesson on counting in multiples of two. And well done if you've joined in. Maybe before the next lesson, to get really good at this, you could do a little bit of practice. You could do it on your own, with a brother or sister maybe, or with a grown up. Maybe you could find some socks and shoes and put them into their groups of two, into their pairs. I want you to be able to say how many groups you've got and how many shoes or socks you've got all together. And you could also practice saying things like, I've got five twos, that's 10. I'd really like you also to have a go at making some of the counters. I've had a go here, look. I've just made it out of a cereal box, drawn round a cup to get my circle, cut them out and then put two dots on. Okay, so if you could do some of those before next lesson, that'll be great. And then you can join in with the activities in the next lesson. So I'll see you all really soon. Keep practicing those multiples of two and thank you for joining me. Bye for now.